What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Renegade. As you can see by the title, thumbnail, I am cleaning my AR-15. And I'm going to bring you along, and I'm going to show you. I mean, it ain't rocket science, but I'm going to show you. And I had this gun about three years or so, and this gun been fantastic. But I haven't shot it in months. And when I say months, I mean a couple months, and it's actually pretty sad. And to where I couldn't, you know, shoot a bullet, I mean, it's basically stuck in a way. So I knew it was like some time for cleaning. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you how to do the cleaning on an AR-15 or any gun you might own. Well, AR-15 in specific, I don't know about other guns. Um, I might end up getting other guns, possibly. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So, guys, as you can see, this is my AR-15 right here. This is a Dale Ton. Uh, I have a 60 mag, a 30, and I don't know the original capacity on this one right here. I have a red dot, and you can also change the color to a green dot on site. I think this was about like uh, about 200 bucks for that. It's pretty cool. I did have bought, um, we can have like the strap so the gun can uh, hang from like the holster and all that. And I did have a flashlight uh, thing on here. I still got it, it's on my desk, but it just kept getting loose over time. So I might end up making changes uh, to like the lower or maybe upper or whatever. I don't know, or I might just get a different upper and uh, you know modify it in a way so these are the products i will be using for my ar-15 uh, cleaning process uh hoppies got this from my local sporting goods store uh, this was a product that was recommended but i seeing they had other uh, good uh, brands um so we got the cleaner that we're gonna blast all the components uh, with and clean i got a brush set right here i got a snake right here to run through the barrel and we got the lubricating gun oil so we can lube after we get done with the cleanup process guys this is my ar-15 once again First thing first you want to do is make sure your gun is clear. And once cleared, drop your mag, have that clear, put that to the side. Now we have uh, two pins that hold this AR together or any AR um, um, here and here. From the other side, you will push it in. You probably use like anything to push it. This one might be a little tough. There you go. <laughs> All right, so once your pins, once your pins are taken apart, you have your lower, which is right here. You just put this to the side. And then we have our upper, which is right here, which we will um, put to the side. Now, I'm not that great at explaining things, but most things are self-explanatory, so let's just get to it. Okay, guys, being that we have the lower and upper apart, what you will need is like an old t-shirt. Don't use any like Q-tips or anything of that nature because of the fibers that it can possibly leave it behind. So first thing first, we have our charge handle in place and we have our bolt carrier group uh, in place. So all I'm gonna do is just slide it out. Slide the bolt carrier group out. And then your charger handle right here. You see these two little grooves right there? They got like a little indentions inside which you probably can't see. Um, when you go back, they'll put it back. But anyway, it should like, you know, lock in place. But we gonna put this to the side. So for my upper, what I'm gonna do is just spray 
some of this stuff inside the barrel and then set this to the side and i'm gonna do the same uh, with my lower because it is pretty gunky and dirty as like i said i'm spraying my upper so i'm gonna just spray inside the barrel and I'm gonna just let it sit on the side and then same I'm gonna do for my upper but like I said it was you know pretty dirty you really don't have to mess with it but the thing you have to do is just I'm gonna just let that sit to the side all right you guys so this is our boat carrier group First thing first, what we're gonna do is remove uh, the firing pin. We got a um, pin right here, which you can pull out already prop. I've already pulled it out just about, but we're gonna pull it back out just for demonstration purpose. We're gonna put it to the side. Now our firing pin, which is right here, we're gonna take it out. look real dirty too so we have our firing pin right here as you can see I'm gonna put that to the side and uh, that pin we're gonna uh, twist right here I think it should be able to pull there we go okay have that out I'm gonna put that to the side. And then we're gonna take our cam pan out. It's right here. It's all nasty and gunky as you can see. And uh, that's really pretty much it for that piece. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna have an old t-shirt. We're gonna put it right here. I say I will need an old t-shirt. I'm gonna put all the components on here and we're gonna clean it up really well. And what we're gonna do is just spread it down. Anyway guys, I mean pretty easy doing this. Not too bad. We had a lot of carbon build up. I don't know how many rounds I had shot this gun to be exact. Uh, I know it been a couple of times. I've been to a uh, gun range down the road from me, out in the woods, also in the city. So it's pretty fun, pretty cool. And yeah, we got a lot of build up. I know they make a tool called a cat tool um, for little uh, stuff like this. I forgot the name for it. The brief, well, the abbreviation is a C A T cat, but I don't know like the whole name for it. But y'all see how clean the pen look now compared to what it was before. Um, so just clean her up. Um some other components so so I'm using a brush I had a uh, bulk like um if I had that one tool to get all this tough behind carbon and build up there's a lot of carbon might have to try to uh, scrape it off some type of way. From now on, like, I guess every so often, I probably need to take it apart and just clean it. Now, but this cleaning process, like, for like, if you ain't gonna shoot your gun, like, for a couple weeks, maybe month or two but i heard um if you're gonna like have your gun stored that is going to be like a different cleaning process i don't know uh about that 
y'all let me know um, down below. And y'all let me know what like cool tools and all that I should, you know, use to clean this bad boy here. You get what I'm saying? It's like, like I said, it's my first time just cleaning it. Now this brush do get through the crevices. It's kind of like early in the morning too. Let me know if y'all wanna, I might show myself shooting this gun on here. So I'm trying to branch out uh, to more people, I'm trying to have more resemblance. That makes me also, what you wanna do is make sure this bad boy right here is tight. I think the, I think it's 60 inch uh, pounds, if I ain't mistaken, on like the torque specs of it. Make sure it ain't loose, make sure, you know, steak um correctly and properly and uh that's pretty much it so we're going to end up putting this boat carrier together and then look at all this carbon and stuff um and then look at my pen uh compared to before and my cam pen right here pretty clean yeah so guys we're going to basically reverse the rows we're going to put the cam pen back in we're going to get our other pin right here gonna twist it I'm sure it'll be able to come let me try to get her on can't do it with one hand as you can see we have it in put the firing pin back in put our pin back so guys after we got that in So this is done, this piece is done. We're gonna put this to the side. Uh, the barrel that we had um, sprayed, the what's the name? We're gonna use uh, this snake, uh, which is right here. So it ain't uh, hard. Try to open it up. I wonder if you can reuse these like back to back. Probably not. I'm not sure. It's pretty cool. I'll see what side go in first. I think this side will go down in there first. The weighted side. And we just uh, pull it through a couple of times. But I am going to spray in it one more time. And I'm gonna just turn the gun like more than once. I'm gonna run the weighted side down the barrel. We probably go about, I don't know, three, four times maybe. Should pull right through. Let me make sure I got the instructions right now. This grip, we're gonna attach it and then pull it through. It's pretty fairly easy. And detach it. So it's pretty uh bore boss, pretty good. We can go through it uh one more time. Well, a couple more times. Anyway, I get back with y'all when I get it, get it through. I all this damn wind and stuff blowing. Pull it through. And I'm gonna do this a couple more times. All right, guys, speed up this process. I did old. Uh, the sides you don't have to go too crazy with it like I did and I'm also gonna charge I mean oil up the charging handle as you can see it does have a little wear 
and tear on there. You really probably can't tell. I'm gonna oil that up, uh, put this gun back together. <clears throat> and just basically reversing the rolls. You wanna put your charger handle in before and then having this face that way, make sure your um, cam pin is extended out before you will actually put it in. And uh, that will be pretty much it. I probably will demonstrate that. Guys, it's windy as hell. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna uh, see any more of this. I just like this. I don't know. All right, that's it for the upper. Uh, for the lower, I already um, just all the receipt, uh, the catch for the hammer. You don't have to put that much oil in there. You just need a very little bit. It doesn't take that much. Um, now we're gonna just put it back in. Guys, that's gonna be it. Um, make sure it fires, hold the trigger, make sure it resets, and then be able to put it in safety. So uh, that will be it for my AR-15. <gasps> this thing look clean. I might change the color on this thing too. I don't know. Y'all look. <laughs> Let me stop. <sighs> Let me stop. Alright, so anyway, this thing pretty lubed up. Probably put a bullet in it. But um, that'll be it. We're going to put our dust cover back. And make sure you leave this stuff off. And that would be it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, know it's probably lengthy and all that. It's pretty self explanatory uh, to do it. I uh, hope you join the uh, channel and let's uh, do more videos, all types of kind of videos. And uh, we'll try to get to know me or whatever. That's pretty much it, man. I hope y'all have a great, wonderful day because I will. So, see y'all in a bit in uh, Memorial Day. Uh, thanks to all the soldiers that's currently in service and was recently in service uh, to fight for this country and allow us to you know have freedom to do things that we have or can do, if that makes any sense, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that would be it. Clean this area up and I'll see y'all, so peace out.